Hey, what's going on guys? Tim and Ian here, and today we're back with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be showing you my secret bunker that I made. I will also be uh, leaving a link to the uh, um, mod pack down in the description below, along with the uh, map download. Anyway, let's get right into it. Not really too much too exciting here, a lot of trees and stuff. And we have this hole in the ground. This may or may not be our secret base, who knows. Certainly. Ah, oh, look at that. So, first things first, we have a Rosenberg pest control device. Make sure there's no bad mobs spawning around us. It goes up to 14 blocks, so that's pretty cool. Here is the actual uh, bunker itself. With our sliding blast doors, we not we don't have just one. We have two sliding blast doors. So what we do is close this one. This is where. Uh, um, this ha basically has a normal kit full of like everything we need to survive out in the wastes. Three beds, some wood, a Saturday Night Revolver, um, shooter. Lead bullets, uh, Geiger counters, a dosimeter. Tools and stuff, steak, remote, strong right away, and scrabium. Right, anyway, apples, okay. So we're done decontaminating. We can go in here. Close this up. First thing we, uh, I gotta show off is the storage closet. It's old pipes and stuff. Don't worry about that. So for top part here is more uh, like um, tool sets and uh, alloy um, chest plates and stuff like that. So a lot of tools and stuff. So we have our low tier, we have our mid tier, and then we have our high tier tool sets. This would be good for like two players. Like this base would be decked out enough for two players to survive on. Alright, next we have our uh, atomic science starter kit. We have one of each of these science kits here. We also have our hazmat kit, advanced hazmat kit, high performance hazmat kit, and a missile kit. So... If you're if somebody is actively attacking your bunker, you could actually launch missiles back at them, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. We also have like concrete bricks, reinforced Ducrete, and reinforced combine bricks. So uh, if like there's any holes in your base wall or whatever that you need to repair, if you or if you want to add another layer for a layer of defense, then this would be the way to go. <clears throat> so basically our walls are designed, um, the base wall is designed like basically it's a layer of this. So basically it's set up like this. We have a layer of uh, reinforced combine bricks, then a layer of dudecrete, and then a layer of uh, concrete bricks. So this is the inside layer, and the outside layer, as you can see already, is the uh, common layer. Do create pretty much like that, nice and simple. Over here we have our basically uh, smelt uh, our electric furnaces for like smelting ores and stuff. Over here we have our electric press with our flats or with our stamps. We have. Multiple variants of uh, most stamps. We have two small caliber stamps and two large caliber stamps because those are the more, more common stamps. We got the 44 Magnum and the uh, 357 Magnum stamp as well, though those are probably less likely to be used. <coughs> we have regular, st oh, we have flat stamps, we have uh, plate stamps, wire stamps, and circuit stamps. So. If you need to stamp out anything, here's your go-to. I went with red and blue because look how nice that looks. <clears throat> and also there's st uh, steel crates under each one, so like let's say if it's radioactive and you don't have a hazmat kit, it's like low level radiation. You just slap it in here. Or if, or if you just want to put your regular ores in there, that's fine too. Alright, over here we have an elite radiation absorber. So this, just in case, like there is radiation, this will absorb most of it. So this base will be actually, like, even after the nuclear explosion, it should still be able to be 
like you should still be safe in here. All right, next we have a HF to I um, mean RF to HE converter. This converts uh, our uh, big reactor energy into uh, HE to power this as well. This is already filled up. Wow. This is really easy because you could just flip the switch on and it will start filling up like pretty much everything around here. All right, next thing is the uh, centrifuges. We have a row of four of these for like ore enrichment and stuff like that. Very nice. Over here we have a uh, code red copper cable that goes to our assembly machine here. And there is uh, two, like six stacks of each for the paper and the lapis lazuli, which is the die for the uh, templates. We also have uh, iron plates as well, so we can make those uh, fluid IDs. We don't really need that many. I don't know why I have that many in there, but it's fine. Then we're going to go up here. We have our chemical plant as well, and we also have another three uh, lapis lazuli, another three of paper, and uh, more f uh, iron plates for this. Very nice. So that's that. Over here we have our uran um, uranium slash uh, plutonium enrichment. So your uh, uranium hexafluoride goes in here, goes into this gas centrifuge. This takes natural uh, UH um, UF6 into low enriched UF6, which then takes it from low enriched <coughs> UH. Uh, UF6 to uh, medium enriched and so on and so forth until you get uh, pretty much like uh, pretty much weapons grade or let's say uh, uh, fuel grade uranium. You can pretty much do the same thing with uh, plutonium as well. Pretty nice. So and each of these has like crates and stuff so you could basically come in here real quick drop it in here very nice. Now you're getting a lot of fuel grade uranium-238, so that's pretty good. And over here we have a another uh, energy storage block. We have another elite uh, radiation absorber as well. We got pipes to it to make it look like it's outputting the radiation somewhere else. So it's kind of like an air filter, but it's not really. Over here we have our uh, basically main command center. We have our radar, as you can hear it going off right now. The radar goes around, make sure there's not any missiles or anything. Now you only want to use this during like active like a conflict, because it does take a lot of power. 10,000 HE per, uh, wait, per tick. We have a broken radio, which kind of sucks. Over here we have another uh, cool thing. This is our radi um, not a radiation, our uh... oh look, I forgot to take that out. <laughs> Over here we have our force field emitter. So like anytime there's anything that's like, I think that might be too close to the wall. Here, let me figure this out real quick. So basically, this uh, basically prevents like missiles and stuff getting in here. There we go. That's better. So if there's any missiles or anything, it will most likely deflect them. It does not always work because sometimes the shield goes down if it's too big of an explosion. So this will def uh, defend your base from actually getting blown up. <coughs> that has a relatively large uh, area. Let's go back inside. Okay, thank you. See right here you can see it um, barely. But you can see it they kind of like uh, as you see there's something damaging it right now. Probably with that zombie or whatever. But it basically puts a little uh, protective force field around your base. If you want extra protection, you can always have more than one. 
but that is going to take more power. So that's the downside. All right, that's nice so far. Okay, that's our uh, that. So we're going to turn that off now. Oops, off I say. And we'll start filling up again from our uh, our energy production room. So it's a pretty nice base so far, in my opinion. So we're open this up over here. We have our decontamination room again. Because you don't want to be spreading any of the stuff from this room into this room. Over here we have our uh, RTG pellets. We have pretty much every variant of RTG pellets so far in the Ace Room Nuclear Tech mod. We have plutonium 238. We have radium um, 226. Weak uranium RTG pellet. Polium uh, um, 210. We have strontium 90, known to the state of California. You won't believe this to give you cancer. We have actinium um, 227. Ooh. Which decays to depleted uh, uranium, um, depleted uh, lead RTG pellet. Then we over here we have our gold 198 RTG pellet, our americium 241, and our Berkelium RTG pellet. <clears throat> now the strongest one by far is this one. At a whopping 1,000 uh, levels. Most of them are like roughly like 25, maybe 35. All depends on the power level. So we've been, over here we have uh, not one, we have two RTG gener- Oh, I need to start adding more that there we go so basically we have two RTG generators which basically takes power from our pellets here and makes energy <coughs> we have a lot of energy right now quite an excess amount over here we have our polyum uh, 210 RT. Uh, we have a whole bunch of these fill this up, and we also have our alternate power source as well. You can actually have up to three power sources running this at one time. So, like, you could fill this up with water and use it as combustion generator as well. So, a lot of options here. That's why we went with the industrial generator, and just because it looks really nice. And you don't have to worry about the, your nuclear reactor exploding. As opposed to having like a steam turbine. I mean, there's other ways you can generate steam as well, though, so that's good. Over here, we have the pretty much same setup over here. We also have a ha uh, we have two hazmat kits. I mean, two hazmat suits. One's in a hazmat kit. The other one's just out in here. And we also have five gas mask filters. And we have two handheld Geiger counters. So make sure you don't have too much radiation. All right, pretty much filled up right now. Over here we have our uh, big reactor, nuclear reactor. This one has no chance of blowing up, so that's why I went with this option. Because <coughs> you don't want anything that can blow up in your base, trust me. So basically, you put in the uh, yellow uranium in here. You can also use uh, like the regular uranium from the HB Nuclear Tech mod. It's pretty much the same thing. And it will, it's outputting uh, 600 uh, RF per, uh, oh, look at that, 601 RF per tick. <coughs> so that's why we have so much energy. This will practically last you a lifetime. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this area. We're going to get back to this area, decontaminate ourselves, and go into this area. And that is pretty much it for our little base bunker here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.